Uh, welcome to Content Week. 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 It's going, going, going. All nine, nine, nine days, days, days of content, content, content. Week, week, week. And today, I'm going to ask that you and I together, we just take a minute and we slow down and make room. What are we making room for, Steve? Tricks. Trixie Hobbitses, exactly. Um, <laughs> so, my... Uh, th this was a video that <laughs> we played from, uh, I think, while the draft was still going on. But conveniently, there was a conversation in one of the old um, draft things. Um, whatever they call them. Uh, viability ranking? No, power rankings. Power uh, rankings. Where they said... The Indeedy Armourage team is bad because its trick room abuser is armor. It's like, who's its trick room abuser? It's some 50 base speed mon? Uh, Azumarill. Oh, yeah, Azumarill. And I was like, huh, I'd already made the slide on this thing about how I thought yeah. Armourage was one of the best trick room abusers in the game. <laughs> and this game has a radically different uh, a radically different standard for how effective trick room abuse is compared to last yeah, game. They they were making the point that Azumarill's not a good mod in Trick Room when Jace just beat everybody with Azumarill in Trick Room last season. I know, right? So, seemed like a weird point. It, it, it's, uh, you know what, uh, look, in, uh, in my neighborhood, I think they call that uh, either being misinformed or cope, depending on whether you have the Azumarill or not, you know? True. Um, <laughs> I, uh, just, yeah. So yes, um, Iron Hands is, I think, without a doubt, the second best Trick Room abuser in the format after Torkoal. Yeah, it'd definitely be up there. Maybe Ting Lu would be up there as well. I mean, Ting Lu, is, it, it plays to all the slower game plan, so theoretically, you could um, not... You know, Ting Lu, is a, it's a definitely not passive, but um, it, it slows down the game to the point uh, that it may not effectively use Trick Room turns. There's been a lot of choice ban Ting Lu's flying around the the EUIC right now. Okay. So far, I haven't seen a team in top 16 have a Ting Lu that wasn't leftovers or a soul vest. Yeah. Um, that Fisher crap is annoying. About half of them have had Fisher, and it's been... The, 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 do you know what is the main way to predict uh, whether Ting Lu is going to have Fisher or not? If it exists. No, if, if No, like I said, only about half of them have it. But if Wochien is on the team, uh, like every single Wochien Tinglu team has Fisher on Tinglu, because the Wochien yeah. otherwise makes nothing else Tinglu matter <laughs> do matter. That's uh, true. Yeah, so that was the thing. Because I, I mean, like we saw a finals Tinglu where the Tinglu did not have Fisher, uh, and I'm yep. like, hmm, how representative is that of the other tournaments in the format? So I looked at Sydney and I looked at Fort Wayne, uh, and obviously we're going on in London. We're seeing quite a mixture of it, but it's also still day one, right? Yeah, yeah. Day two just started. Yeah. Um, so I think as the, as the tournament goes on, we're going to see less of um, Fisher Tingler. Uh, Hopefully. I mean, are you really are you really going to be the one to be pearl clutching about uh, Fisher? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I used it on a knackle stack. That's uh, that's got a have much stronger moves than um. Much stronger moves than anything Ting Lu has. Not when you have a covert cloak. <laughs> you, I mean, that's one item, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you you have it's like you know you ran it on a Pokemon that should beat you know every single Pokemon in the format by itself, and then uh, you gave it an out against the only Pokemon it had a bad matchup into, being whichever Pokemon I choose to run the covert cloak on. Yeah. Um, realistically, I should have just brought Disable. <laughs> I don't think I had anything to learn to the... Uh, but yes, um, Trick Room. Trick Room in this gen is faster than it's ever been. When I was drafting my team, I know that they were like, oh, a Hatch Room is really just an imprisoned Trick Room model on my team. When I was drafting my team, I was thinking that Tauros Aqua was a competent Trick Room abuser. Not a good one, but one that could feasibly do it. Because this current format is really, really fast, and is not particularly slow. Yes. Uh, there are not very many good uh, mons below base, even 30. 50. Yeah. I mean, there, there are a couple in that, like, uh, 45 to 50 range, and basically nothing below 30. 
Like, yeah. like, and not that many things at 30 either. Uh, and, you know, there's like, in terms of competent ones, in like that 20 and below, I, I think, Torkoal's 20, right? Not 25? Torkoal's 20, yeah. Yeah, so there's like, a, you know, there's Torkoal and there's Pink Urchin, and then there's like Fungus. Uh, Claude Sire. Yeah, maybe. Claude Sire. I think Claude Sire might be 25. It is 20. It is 20. Uh, okay. I literally used it. Greedent. I don't remember. Greedent yeah. is also 20, but that's. Yeah. Yeah. Now like, we're, we're these are mods which the you can feasibly use, right? Yeah. That's not a lot of mods. <laughs> uh, certainly not compared to you know last uh, last generation where we had um, basically every single pon mon that we mentioned there, but then also Escavalier, and I think there was another mon that was at that 20 speed that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Though I cannot think of what it is, which suggests to me I might be making it up. Clodsai is the only uh, new mon there. Um, am I just making uh, Stack up? Attacker was there. Stack last Attacker, year. that was the big guy. Yeah, thirteen. Ferrothorn. Yeah, Ferro. There were a lot of um a lot of other mons Eaglet. in that format from yeah. certainly Ferrothorn was in the game release and then uh, Stack Attacker came in with the Crown Tundra, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh Isle of Armor. Uh, One of them. I think that I think the, the Ultra Beasts were Crown Tundra. Um, but I don't know. I've never... Yeah, maybe. I, I, I forget. Life. I don't even remember which one was which. I think the Isle of Armor gave us the Tudor moves. Um, I think there might have been another one. Is Gigalith... No, I think Gigalith's 25, isn't it? Yeah. But still, Correct. it's in that sub-30 range, which is very impactful. Like, it was slower than Hattery. Um, and Dusclops is also a 25. Yeah. So uh, right there, there's like six mons that we don't have access to anymore. Yeah, and I think Aromatis is also sub sub thirty at uh, twenty nine with Hattery. So it's like last gen. I think that there was an absolute thing where I was critical of people using Rhyperior as like a hard trick room user at base forty, and I am in a completely different opinion of that in this perspective. So this one we're going to look at um, what we consider to be the big top trick room setters of users first. Um, and uh, you know, the two of us are talking, I think that these are pretty representative of who the best trick room setters and abusers are in the current format. Uh, I think you agree, yeah? Yeah. Um, Oranguru is one of the most, um, one of the highest tempo support mons in the game because of Instruct. Because uh, Instruct is stronger than Helping Hand. It's, um, what is it? An extra, f an extra third as strong as Helping Hand because Helping Hand is one point five and Instruct is two. Yep. But more if you're doing moves that drop stats or increase stats, or like getting or, throat spray. Yeah. Off. yeah, throat spray was what I was gonna say. Yeah, I, mean, I was thinking Torch Song. <laughs> um, but I've, I've also seen it with uh, Apple Acid Appleton do some stuff. Um, but yes, Instruct is incredibly high tempo. And it's got inner focus, so it can't be faked out, or it's got symbiosis, so you can pass a, a, an item to someone with throat spray. Um, and it's foul play, and yawn, and a few other things are pretty relevant. It, it is a very quintessentially solid trick room setter and support option. Yeah, when I had it last season, I basically ran the same four moves on it, or at least the same three moves uh, instruct, trick room, foul play. And then depending on the matchup, it was like Hyper Voice or Imprison. Psychic, or Energy Ball, Shadow Ball. Imprison, Shadow Ball, yeah. yeah. Um, but just because you know you what it's going to do... Uh, yes, I did run Yawn no. against Daddy, because I wanted to imprison Yawn. <laughs> of course. Um, I think I've... I've, I've... It, does, it doesn't get knockoff in this format, right? I think it lost that in the generation switch. It, yeah, barely anything gets knockoff anymore. Yeah, well, the same was true last gen, but... Even barely more anything gets knocked off this gen. Because last gen, I, there were a bunch of random mons that still had knocked off, I think, as egg moves, and now I don't think they even get them as egg moves. Yeah. Bring back tutors. Yeah. Move tutors. I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily want knockoff to have higher distribution. They should bring back corrosive gas so that we are forced to use it now that there's no knockoff. Yeah, that would be cool. Um. But yes, uh, so Oranguru, very difficult to prevent setting up Trick Room with a Mental Herb. The main way you do it is by doubling up into it, and Terra can make it difficult to double up into and remove reliably. Yep. Uh, Indeedy is the other support option that is now a Trick Room setter, unlike last gen, um, which can, can be, it can be very high tempo, or it can also be like a longer sort of game on, um, because 
Turns out a psychic type in psychic terrain with psychic moves is strong? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but it's that also got follow me. Yeah. Special attack too, so you can't yeah, really just much. ignore it. Yeah. The other indeed is a bit stronger, um, but this one is more bulky, which is a pretty good upside, especially if you do pair that with the psychic seed, which enables it to be even bulkier. Put it next to a rank root and believe... you can have the mental health. <laughs> I can't believe they actually allowed that bug to be in the game where it now has trick room. I mean, I can. It's yeah, but it's to actually make it in the game, right? To make it legal? Like they could have just said, oops, our bad. Don't use female trick room. Yeah, but I think they um I mean I don't know. I don't I don't have a problem with it. I think it's a good I think it's been a good thing for draft, giving in DDF trick room. Um I've seen it do more interesting things as a result. And it gives you another move slot that you're pressured to not want to run follow me in slash a coverage move, which is good. Yeah. Because this mod does decent coverage, but it has very high impact coverage. Uh, and Terra Fairy has been pretty dominant on it in standard, and not yes. bad by any means in draft. Um, yeah, because you cover that dark weakness, so... For sure. I mean, it's the same reason Oranguru runs it, right? Yep. Normal uh, psychic is an interesting type thing. Um, yeah, it covers up the dark weakness, and it gives you, like, a fighting resist. I think fighting is one of the more potent offensive types in the format. Uh, mm -hmm. to compare it to Terra Dark or Terra Fighting as options. Terra Fairy gives you the least relevant weaknesses and I think takes away the... Um, it has the offensive potential, but it also takes away the fighting concern, which can plow straight into being an opposing fighting type or an opposing Dark type especially. Yeah, I don't know what else you would really be running on in DD. Grass for opposing sport. Grat, yeah. <laughs> That's a very easy answer. Uh, the, the answer is, what do you Terra? <laughs> if you don't want to Terra into something defense, if you want to, like, support, right? If you can't run that move slot, you, you're on Terra Grass. Uh, sorry, the item slot, rather, for safety goggles. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I did that with Slow King, which does also get some defensive value out of it. Um, yep. Trick Room is, is alright, you know? Um, this Slow King set is designed to support Glaceon. Yes. Could also be like if you put uh, imprison over uh, chili reception trick room there, oh. then you can chili reception to support like a, a Titan or a bear tick. I mean, you can, you could. It's, it's not very good. <laughs> well, they still can't use trick room as you chili reception out. So then you kill their trick room setter, and then you're good to go. Exactly. Um, I think Yon is an alright support move on a trick oh, yeah. room setter. It's really good on like the second last turn of Trick Room sort of thing, where you punish them for... You either make them make an exposed switch or protect and accept a sleep sack. Akeon does specifically have good synergy with Trick Room as a format. Does Yon activate a, um, a Throat Spray? That's a good question. I know, I know it few... doesn't go through subs, so I imagine yeah. it doesn't. I know a few random moves the sound moves like do like um growl does growl there's another one um there's another one i saw someone do it yeah it doesn't appear to be a sound type move no yawn does not fail during an uproar so if you yawn on the last turn of uproar then they will uh, fall asleep the next turn yeah, yawn's got a bunch of weird interactions with that stuff like misty terrain or safeguard Stuff yeah, like that. It, it gives them what? Well, it gives them the um the status of yawn, but then they don't fall asleep. But they do fall asleep if it's gone the next turn, which you can do yeah. with ice spinner and defog. Uh, apparently, it fails into meteor form minior, which is weird. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, well, it's because I would expect it to like succeed based on what it deals with the terrains. I'd expect it to succeed, and if before the end of the next turn you push them into the other form, they they transform and then fall asleep. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I don't think Minior has to be a worse Pokemon, so I'm fine with it. Um, but yeah, I don't know why it's not a sound move. Yeah. So I think the main thing about these three Trick Room setters in particular is that it's very hard to prevent them from getting Trick Room up. That's the You're either immune to Fake Out, good. or immune to Taunt. Right. Or immune to Dying. 
with the like psychic seed and with terror the combination. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all three of them are immune to fake out. Yeah. Indeed, he's not immune to fake out. But uh, sorry, not it is sorry. Indeed, he is immune to fake out, but it is not immune to taunt. With yeah. this set, the psychic seed is more to hedge. A like, mental herb is technically it's still a reasonable play instead of um, psychic seed there. Um, and then in terms of the abusing trick room, I think these three are the top main abusers in the current format. Uh, I was tempted to put Sword Stance Iron Hands there, but I think that's really only good with Indeedy. Yeah. Um, or I don't know if there's another trick room. I uh, Toad Toad Scroll and Toad School probably makes sense with as well. Um, but yes, Torkoal is a funny guy. Um, he's really, 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 really strong, and I think very good specifically with Oranguru for instruct. Yes. Um, really, honestly, most of the time he only needs a helping hand. Yeah, but with um, with Oranguru, he can kill a lot of bulky water types. Yes. I think I saw like Terrifier with Oranguru can kill uh, Azumarill if it's not running thick fat. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> it's like, okay. Makes sense. Most of my early ladder teams were just oh. Torkoal spamming Eruption because it just yeah. kills everything. You have to run a speed dropping item on Oranguru though because Azumarill is um, slow. Yeah. Or, then Oranguru. Oranguru's base 60. Indeed, he's base 75, isn't it? Or is it? No, it's 85. Armored is 75. Slowking's base 30. Yeah. Um, talk all good. I think Hatterene is probably like the fourth or fifth best Trick Room setter in the format. It really misses Expanding Force. I mean, if you have Psychic Terrain up, yeah, otherwise it doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, I think uh, it misses Mystical Fire. It has Mystical Fire. No, it does still? I thought it lost it. I know a bunch of Pokemon lost it. I think Hatrum lost it. Maybe this is just because I no, Hatrum has the it. Format. Hatrum does have it. Yep, it's there. I might just be insane. Yeah, I mean, look, Expanding Force, indeed he had a rain, was insane. But I think it also misses Terra with that sort of set. Um... Yeah, I think Hatterene's okay. Magic Bounce is similar to Oblivious, except for... I think they have different interactions with Mole Breaker, where I think that is 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 a is oblivious like. I know that there are some abilities that like you know you can if you burn a Water Fail Mon it will still get cured. From Mold Breaker. Um. Yeah. By like it gets cured partway through the turn. Hmm. Um, because the effect of Water Veil is not just that it prevents burn, but also that it heals from burns when you gain the ability. Um, yeah. That's another if one. If Pokemon I don't with know Oblivious is taunted by a Pokemon with an ability like Mole Breaker, the taunting will take effect, but it will then be cured once the Pokemon regains Oblivious. The Pokemon regains Oblivious in practice by um. Uh, the Pokemon regains Oblivious when it right before it ta attempts to take a move. It's just the same thing that Water Veil does with Burn. So I, w I remember that correctly. So it would just get Trick Room off? Yes. Okay. Also, it consumes a Mental Hub before Oblivious procs, which is funny. Um, oh, that, that's do neat. Uh, I don't know why you're bringing mel Mental Herb Oblivious, but... <laughs> you, maybe you're playing against Weezing. Yeah. Nat Dex. Who knows? First DLC. Um, I miss wheezing. Iron Hands. Iron is Hands is broken. Dummy thick and <laughs> dummy strong. It's so bulky and it's so strong. Uh, like, Iron Hands is the best Pokemon in every single... Um, like, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure whether Iron Hands is the best Pokemon in draft right now. However, I it seems it to be. me to be the best Pokemon in a tempo meta. It seems to be the best Pokemon in a long game, and it seems to me to be the best Pokemon in a mid game, because it has different sets and they're all incredible at it. In Tempo, mm -hmm. you just run Salt Fest or Life Orb or Booster Energy and kill stuff, and they die. In a, a long game meta, you just run Sword Stance, Strain Punch, yeah, with Salt. Pelly Drum. No, no, that's the mid game. That's the third set I was saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> in a mid game meta, click Belly Drum and then click Drain Punch, and then you're back at full. I think I think Sword Stance Sub is um, probably more for the long game sort of thing because Sub deals with a lot of opposing long game shenanigans. Yeah, that, that that's my thought process there. 
Um, you can also do the Iron Defense good. Body Press. You can. Um, I'd say that yeah fits pretty well into both the mid game and long game sort of things. And yeah, you know, sub and like Swords Dance and Iron Defense are similar moves, but you don't get the boost on Drain Punch as I'm concerned. So yeah. you get it on Body Press instead, then you get more bulk. So it does synergize well with Substitute, but you might want to run like leftovers with that. I would not recommend uh, running a Soul Vest on the Swords Dance, Iron Defense, or Belly Drum sets. No, that would be a bad idea. I think it makes a good use out of an offensive Terra, because it's got a lot of great coverage, like Earthquake, heavy Fire slam. Punch, Heavy Slam, Ice Punch, Play Rough, That's Iron what I Head. <laughs> I put the Rock offensive slam. Terra on it. <laughs> yeah. Also, it Because you don't need iron. the defense yes. when you have this ridiculous bulk. I mean, Terra Steel is still like defense, right? True. The thing is, a lot of it's Other coverage. Other ground attack. Yeah, well, it's not into ground. It's more into fairy, I think. And psychic. Um, you know, it's got three weaknesses, and I don't think it has a terror that covers all three of them. But steel covers two of them. Um, give me a second. Yeah, steel and poison, I think, would be the two. Uh, uh, poison doesn't cover psychic. So, yeah, steel's probably the best. Um, yeah, uh... Steel covers two of them, but obviously in a ground matchup, Terra Flying isn't bad. Terra Cross makes, uh, like, covers you against Spore and Rage Batter. <laughs> and Terra Bug is funny. Yeah. That's so, so all I can really say for Terra Bug. It doesn't get Pin Missile like Iron Thorns, so you can't take as much offensive advantage of Terra Bug. Bug Terra Blast. Coming at you. It's it's funny, but I, I don't know if it's a uh, I don't know if it's enough. Um, but yeah, I think Iron Hands really shows like how to be a good um, how to be a good trick room abuser as fake out to assist in setting trick room, and then it's got really good bulk to make it so that it doesn't die on the turn you set trick room with 154 base HP, and then you can use the assault vest to um, shore up its bad special defense stat, uh, and then it's got offense. That's very strong. And Wild Charge. Yeah. That is not very strong, but, you know. It's strong when you have 140 base attack. Uh, I've seen it hit Pelipper and Pelipper live. <laughs> to be fair, the Iron Hands was burned, but still. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's also one of the best ground types in the format, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, everyone was always talking about, like, Haxorus or Roaring Moon. Uh, Iron Hands also has Earthquake yeah. with a huge attack stat. Haxorus does have a higher attack stat, but often you might want to run Jolly, whereas uh, you'll often run around Adamant or is it Brave, I think, is plus attack minus speed. Yeah. Yeah, Brave, um, which, you know, makes it functionally stronger. Uh, and you can run Booster Energy, which is a boosting item, without much downside beyond not having another Booster Energy. Yeah. Which is sometimes a significant downside. Does Slitherwing get Earthquake? Yes, it does. Okay, so they're they're all like Earthquake. <laughs> There's like all of the Pokemon with high attack. So Palafin isn't, and Iron Ga uh, sorry, King Gambit isn't. But everything from Iron Thorns up to Slaking is a, an Earthquake mod. Besides those two exceptions. Yeah. Personally, I for one am glad that King Gambit does not get Earthquake. Uh, King Gambit used to be the best in the format, but your way of using of trying to help set up Trick Room was to click Sucker Punch, which is not consistent, and Fake Out is less consistent than it was in previous generations, but still pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and then Moongus is broken because you click Spore in Trick Room and it and it does things, unlike in, with Toad Scroll, where you click Spore in Trick Room and your opponent KOs you first. Yes. And you can heal up whatever you want. You can still redirect, you know, get the get a sword stance up or whatever you want with your partner. For sure. I think... Um, a lot of people a lot of try time. to get around Trick Room by using the, the setup turn uh, to get boosts up. Yeah. You can't do that against Amoongus because it can clear smog you. Yeah. Glyph Smog is very good. Um, Rage Powder is also good because you can make their boost mean less. Yes. And Pollen Puff is good because, you know, if they do 80% to you with their plus one extreme speed from a Dragonite, 
Uh, they only did 30% here. And then the Dragonite's dead. Iron Hands is really good at killing things. Indeed. Uh, and honestly, uh, indeed he's not bad at it. Armor Rouge is, I think, it, it, next to Hattering, the gold standard trick room abuser, if you have an Indeedy. Honestly, if you have yeah. either of them, obviously Indeedy F is better. Uh, but at 75 speed, it's slower than most things your opponent's going to be running, and it kills everything. <laughs> And specifically on the uh, on LS's team, he's got the Azumarill too. So yeah, if you I know, want, right. I, uh, it was it just insane seeing them talking as like, and then that, that team round up at like the, I forget if it was in like C or low B, and I'm yeah. like, okay. <laughs> the yeah, criticism like, you have against this team teams. is that <laughs> you think that they invested too much into Trick Room with uh, without Trick Room abusers, but they have good Trick Room abusers, and also. They're really strong in fast mode, so even if they just prevent Trick Room with it, they're not doing bad. Yeah. Um, yeah <laughs> someone's gonna get blasted by a weak armor, the uh, armor rouge at some point. Oh, uh, they don't have Palafin to flip turn into it, so. No fast U turn? Well, you have to Terra for that. That's not as funny. Uh, I have extra have fun. for context. <laughs> so I was, I was clicking Fire Move. <laughs> um, yes, so. Uh, now. Counterpoint. Um, trick room is bad, actually. If you're losing to trick room, just stop it. Like, like, just, just, just stop it. Get some help. Uh, and here are options for help in the format. There are two. Um, sorry, there are three ways that you can. No, four ways to prevent trick room, and then two ways to deal with trick room. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so, what is what is the first, most obvious, and most like consistent slash easy way that people try to prevent trick room? Uh, fake out or taunt. Exactly. So Sableye does both of those things very well. Um, well, a lot less well now that you can run Cobalt Cloak, because now Slowking can deal with both of them. But last gen, only Oranguru, I think, and Ghost-type setters could deal with both of them. And now also anything can tear into Ghost to deal with Fake Out. But, you know, it's, it's okay. Um, Encore is also a very good anti-trick room move because they have to switch out their trick room setter or they reset trick room or they click protect and then they're locked into protect and not using their trick room effectively. Uh, yep. And, you know, you can punish the switch often with your partner Pokemon, assuming it doesn't die to their trick room user. I've often considered just getting a really slow Encore user. That's exactly just... what Tay did. Which, which mod did Tay have? Um, the baby Spritzy. Yes. Tay yeah. used Spritzy to reverse trick room with Encore. It was very effective. Uh, the was options now are limited. Uh, I don't think Poppin ever did that. He did have Spritzy. They both had Spritzy. I, I think Tay did it. I yeah. remember Encore. I remember both of them using Encore. I think Tay mostly used it offensively, but did use it against an opposing trick room team once. Because there were a bunch yeah. of really hard trick room teams that season. And they didn't beat your, me, your, so. <laughs> your options for that now are Jigglypuff, Azumarill, or Igglybuff. So. Azumarill is not slower than most Trick Room Setters. <laughs> Azurill, not oh, Azumarill. Azurill. That's true. Azurill is funny, because it no longer has Runa Regis for the, the uh, fun set. Yeah. I missed the fun set. Yeah, um, me too. Driplum. The other way yeah. that people beat... The, the way that I personally chose to beat Trick Room last season. Imprisoned Trick Room. And I think Drift Bloom, I wanted to bring it up because it has a lot of mind games. Especially on ladder, I don't think people it realize it has so Trick Room many. yet. <laughs> it has so many moves. Um, it has a shitload of moves. So but all of the moves I ran were moves that counter Trick Room. One of the things that you can set up... Oh yeah, Quash is also a way to counter Trick Room because they don't get to move first. Yeah, it just got to matter. That. Um... But yeah, uh, Drifloom has a bunch of ways you can counter Trick Room. Uh, Imprison Trick Room is obviously one. Just clicking Trick Room the same time they can click Trick Room is one. Clicking Wisp into that Trick Room abuser so that it doesn't do as much as one. Uh, also, su setting up a substitute. If you set up a substitute, um, they have to use twice as many moves to KO you. Yep. And your subs have like a million HP. Yes. It is a. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty pernicious, I would say. Um, I think, yeah, Driplim is a very annoying one for tri Trick Room teams to run into, and is also not a bad one for Trick Room to, to set Trick Room up with. And I think you can take advantage of Aftermath. Pretty yes. well with it. 
Uh, obviously, Unburdened is its like signature ability, uh, but Aftermath is a pretty good ability because it's got very high HP. Yeah, between Aftermath and Will O Wisp and Strength Sap, it's very anti physical trick room. Yep, for sure. Um, though only contact moves. Yeah. You can still rock slide it with Tyranitar. <laughs> Um, yes, so then the another way you can really mitigate the impacts of Trick Room is screens, and otherwise not like let, taking a lot of damage. That's that's pretty good, because they only have 0.67 as much turns of Trick Room. Yep. Um, but that said, you yeah, can also you can just stop them cl clicking Trick Room by clicking Dragon Tail, Roar, Circle Throw, Whirlwind, or I think there's another one, but I forget uh, what it is. Yeah, me too. Um, that's that's a lot of counterplay to Trick Room that people don't always necessarily realize you have. Yep, I used uh, Spide Ops with Circle Throw to stop Trick Room that's last right, season. That's right, you did. So Spide Ops is a good mod. Um, I, I mean, Roar has been the main meta one in VGC because in that format it was also used to counter Geomancy Xerneas, uh, Roar slash Whirlwind, uh, and Dragon Tail does not counter Xerneas, and... Um, most Pokemon with access to Circle Throw, especially before Spider Ops got it, died to Xerneas anyway, so that they didn't need to Geomancy. Um, looking at you, Lopany. <laughs> 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 Though Lopany does come with its own fun way to counter Trick Room with um, uh, Salt Fest. No, Salt Fest, Switcheroo. Oh, yes. Um, with um, Klutz. Which I don't think yeah. any form Pokemon in the current format even has Klutz, let alone uh, that funny combination. Um, but yes, uh, and then we hint at the second way that you can counter Trick Room with Dragapult, though more so with the Breloom, which is mark uh, priority. Priority does a lot of stuff to annoy Trick Room. Yes, because you just kill them first. You just don't. You don't care. You just uh, like, hey, nice Trick Room you have. What if you didn't? Uh, and then we obviously the not, yeah. not in the uh, in DD Trick Room. Every other trick, <laughs> or uh, for a giraffe. You just click Ice Spinner on the turn the, on the turn before, right? Or Bruxish. But yeah, you just just click Ice Spinner. Trust, uh, and then also like skill swap them. But uh, but uh, before you click Ice Spinner, otherwise you reset Psychic Drain. That would be funny. Uh, <laughs> that seems like something a mistake I would make. You know, I, I'd use like Grafai. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, Breloom is the other way you prevent Trick Room, which is Sleep. Uh, technically also paralysis, however, I don't recommend it. <laughs> yeah, paraflinch your way to preventing Trick Room. Um, but the other 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 way of preventing Trick Room is to kill them, and um, Bullet Seed's really good at doing that with Technician, Life Orb, and Terra. Yes. Uh, and I think Breloom is unpicked in one of the, one of the, the diffs. diffs. It's picked in the other one. I mean, it's a very, it's a very specific mod, but it's very yeah. good. If you have a Trick Room weakness, Breloom does not have a Trick Room weakness, unless it's in DD, because they will just click Psychic and be faster than you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've seen a lot of max speed in DDs in, um, on ladder, because they will counterplay opposing, like, anti-Trick Room stuff by attacking. So keep that in mind. Obviously, with Trick Room setters, you have different ways to play around these things, such as killing an imprisoned Pokémon, such as clicking Pryx Taunt into opposing imprisoned Pokémon, or regular speed taunt if they're not a, an impris a trickster guy, a, tri a prankster guy. Um, which is killing Pokemon in general. Uh, Raging Bull and what's the other one? Brick Break? Yep. Uh, I think bring back Cinderace and click Court Change and then you steal their screens. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the other way that you can counter Trick Room is with item usage. Funny items. The items are funny. Yeah, so we picked uh, these two. Because uh, Dragalgy with the room service, uh, Dragalgy with the room service is slower than Torkoal, or was it Hatterene? Uh, both Hatterene. Yeah, both Hatterene. Dragalgy with room service is not slower than, than Torkoal. However, Dragalgy with Iron Ball is slower than Torkoal. Um, yeah. Hatterene is yeah. in that twenty-nine, and then basically everything is thirty. Past that, we talked about the Pokemon that are sub twenty speed, and uh, sorry, sub thirty speed, which is you know sub twenty-nine, because that's really going to be the breaking point. If you hit 62 speed, uh, which Tyranitar is 61, if you hit 62, I think you're faster than Hatterene, or you speed die Hatterene, I think, and then are one point slower than base 30s, um, which is yeah. not consistent, but I have run uh, Iron Ball slash Room Service to a speed tie before, and been willing to risk it, you know? 
but I don't recommend it. Um, here's where Rangaroo is, is funny. Um, if your opponent is trying to do something like that, I remember there was a, um, a very good set with a Berserker and a Rangaroo, where you clicked Bulldoze with a Rangaroo to give it weakness policy, and then it got past... The Berserker got past Iron Ball, which boosted up the power of its Jarrow Balls. Nice. Or I think it might have been Power Anklet, because there were other um, there were other Pokemon and one of them was a Flying type. But same diff. Yeah, you can literally run multiple Iron Ball equivalents. Yep. Uh, the, the, yeah, and if you want to go, if you want to go Terra Flying on your Tyranitar, still just run a Power item. Don't run. Yeah, I honestly ball. forgot about that. We could have just changed the item. <laughs> Well, I yeah. made a joke about how Terra Flying probably doesn't make that much sense on Iron Ball around top. Completely forgetting, I could just change the item to not be Iron Ball. And yeah, I it. remembered that the, the next day. And then I saw the I slide did, was yeah. already made. I was like, eh, whatever. It had also already been made with Terra Flying on Tyranitar. <laughs> <laughs> I just deleted it for the uh, Terra Fairy uh, well, on my like second run through of the slides. Um, so Tyranitar has a bunch of moves that are good at beating opposing Trick Room. Because Rock Slide is a, is a great support move for limiting opposing impact of like a stuff like Trick Room or Screens by limiting the amount of decisions that your opponent can make that have game impact. Um, Stone Age is great because it does damage, and Crunch is great because it does damage, and Protect is great because it sold out Trick Room. Yep. And it's got all sorts of coverage depending on what the Trick Room setter is. If it's a Hatterene, just kill it with a Heavy Slam. Or Stone Edge, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um... Tara Rock is not bad if you're in Trick Room with a Tyranitar, because no. then you uh, live basically every Aura Sphere, and honestly a lot of close combats. Maybe not an Iron Hand close combat, and certainly not like um, like a uh, Zangu's Toxic Boost close combat. You know, not you're not going to get something that's like boosted, um, but or not not boosted and from a strong mon, or is like Terra boosted and item boosted, but a lot of like regular ones you'll take. Um, and Dragolgy is cool. You can Terra Electric with Thunderbolt to kill Azumarill. I think that was the specific Pokemon I was thinking of, but or it might have been Slowbro. Because I don't think you kill Slowking with Thunderbolt with Terra without like an item boost. No, that's really bulky. But yeah, couldn't you just special Sludge Bomb the Azumarill anyway? Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I'm going to Slowbro. <laughs> yeah. Um. Is there a Flying type? I don't. Know, I don't know why I didn't just put like um, Hydro Pump. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's generally the uh, the third stab of choice. Um, yeah, I imagine adaptability hydro pump probably gets a torkoal even in the sun. I wouldn't be shocked, but you're still taking a hit first, so I wouldn't. I guess Terra Water is good for that. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably just Draco it though. That it's the same too. Yeah. Like it's stronger, right? Because it would you be, remove right. the um the sun the sun removes the super effective boost. But yes, I would imagine a neutral adaptability. Terra Water thing could take a Torkoal from a mod that's, that's as strong as Strigolgy. Um, so yeah, I, I, I could see that. I could also see Torkoal living. I wouldn't be shocked if they were, um, like, if your opponent could EV for it. But yeah, um, yeah. So there is there is Counterplay to Trick Room. Now there is Counterplay to the Counterplay to Trick Room. Obviously, just running your own Room Service or Iron Ball is a great way to counter opposing Room Service or Iron Ball. Yes. Um, killing their Pokemon but, is a great way to ca to prevent the other ones. Terra Dark is a great way to, to prevent Prankster. Sorry, you were saying something. Um, yeah, if you if you bring your own Iron Ball, expecting an Iron Ball, and then they don't bring Iron Ball or Room Service, you've wasted an item. So it Iron is Ball a Pokemon risky. with Jar Ball, it'll boost you anyway. Yep. Or run Room Service on a Pokemon with Acro. There's not like, you know, there are ways to turn them into upsides outside yeah. of that impact. I ran room service as an offensive uh, item against a team, and I ran my EVs so that, uh, oh, sorry, I changed my IVs, I think, to like 12. I've done this more than once, but um, so that I would be slower than the slowest Pokemon in Trick Room, but still faster than the slowest Pokemon outside of Trick Room. Yep, I did that with Delmize a bunch. Yeah, and that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty reliable. Um, Especially if their trigger mom was like it was for me. I'm on the ten that wants to run EV all I like right on. Because then they're less likely to room service themselves. But um the problem is Copper Raja doesn't have Jarable, so I don't think there is actually a particularly good Jarable mon. Obviously Delmize was a good Jarable mon, Berserker was a good Jarable mon. But I'm Bronzong, not sure. baby. I mean is Bronzong a good Jarable abuser? It's alright. It's got eighty nine attack. 
Yeah, but Delmize and the other one, uh, Pazoka, both have like boosting abilities and much higher attack stats. Yes, but for what we have right now, it's probably Bronze on. Yeah, I don't think I'd run it with base 30 and no boosting ability though. Base 33, I think it is even. Yeah. Was it you who had the Bronzong? I do have a Bronzong. Yeah. I, I, I found Bronzong's damage output very disappointing last season, outside of body press sets. Well, we'll see. It's not heavy Life or Bronzong's not coming at you. For Jira Ball. It's heartbreaking. But, you know, I also don't think I ever looked for calcs with power item. I ran Heatproof once and I got burnt and I took 3% a turn from burn, but what I really would have appreciated was um, just not being able to get burnt. Why is Heatproof such a bad ability? I didn't know it uh, had burn damage. Neat. Clearly you hadn't been watching my videos. <laughs> I didn't get to do any damage. Um, but yes, uh, ultimately, um, there are I a bunch of really good I was the one that burned your run off. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't you didn't even watch that video. You was in the game! <laughs> I was in the game. No. You know, you can't do this to me. Do you know how much I've sacrificed? <laughs> okay. Uh, speaking of that game, uh here's a here's a Klefki with Terra Flying. <laughs> yes. Yep. It also was a metal sound. Would have been weak would have been weak to outrage. No, it wouldn't have. It would have been neutral outrage. It wouldn't have died anyways, because yeah. I was max defense. True. <laughs> weaker to outrage. Certainly weaker than immune, yes. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I think Magnet Rise was probably the uh, the medical, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, Mimikyu... Sorry, there are a bunch of really fast or mineral speed Pokemon that are actually really consistently putting in performances that show that they're good in Trick Room. Um, Fluttermane was considered for this list, but I thought Meowth was better to showcase draft, because I think Trick Room Fluttermane is maybe, I mean, definitely not certainly, but maybe more of a, um, uh, what's it called, a tournament sort of tech. Yeah. It's mostly there At to, least a on open DC best to speak ladder. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's good in best of one on ladder. I don't think it's, it's necessarily good, but it's very spooky for someone who has an open team sheet to think, oh, I better not set Tailwind here, or their Fluttermane will be slower than my entire team, and I will die. See, I'm thinking in ladder, if uh, you can tell somebody wants to set Trick Room against you, or even you set Tailwind to go faster, then you click Trick Room either way, and it's either back to neutral, or you're suddenly going first in Trick Room because they set Tailwind. Hmm. Or I think is more but... likely to be going first in Trick Room than Fluttermane is. Yeah, I mean, specifically if they set Tailwind. No, I mean, you. even if they set Tailwind. <laughs> um, is a mod that's been showing, like, a lot of solid performances that I, I don't really understand how it works. Because I watch a game, and I see Mimikyu do stuff, and then they win. But I don't, it doesn't feel like it was because of the Mimikyu, but it also, I guess, it kind of was. Mm hmm it is uh, it is one of the easiest ways to get a Trick Room with a Mental Herb in Disguise. You basically have to double up on it. And then you can Shadow Snake your partner Pokemon for a weakness policy boost, and then also give the Armor Rouge weak armor. Yeah. It's great in Trick Room. Got uh, a yeah, lot of good support moves. It, it's very difficult to want it, Kyo. It was a lot... I think it was better last format when... Not last format, sorry. Two gens ago, when you didn't take damage from Disguise and you could run a Super Focus Sash. And then just run redirection to stop you getting taunted. I didn't know disguise ever worked like that. That's broken. Yeah. That's why they nerfed. <laughs> That's actually most of the reason they tend to nerf things. Or it was like um, with Samazenta where Zacian was broken. So they nerfed Samazenta along with Zacian because they were repairing. But they couldn't let Samazenta possibly be good. And they gave a body press after they nerfed it, it Dauntless Shield. Yeah. Heartbreaking. Um, Tragic. But yeah, fast Pokemon are really good at changing game positions, whether it be by stopping your opponent functionally setting Trick Room, uh, or by the other thing. Um, turning it out on a, a team that's even faster. There are a lot of really fast teams in this current format, whether it be with Icy Wind or with Tailwind Speed Control, but a lot of really good ways to get incredibly fast. One of the easiest ways to counterplay that is just to set Trick Room yourself. Oh, sorry, one of the things I should have mentioned in the last one is um, Sableye can scary face your partner Pokemon so that you go first. That's also seen 
good usage. I think something I more commonly associate with Morgrim or Grimmsnarl than Sableye. Sableye may not actually get Scary Face. Um, it does not. Okay, yeah. But you can side pranks to Pokemon, your own Pokemon, to go first. Yep. But I think um, all six of these Pokemon are viable Trick Room setters. And the Tech Mons all have funny Tech Moves that are good for Trick Room. Except Toad Scroll. It's bad. Well, Toad Scroll, the, the two moves you want to click Spore and Rage Powder are either going first or going last anyway, most of the time. Yeah, which means that you don't benefit from um, Trick Room. But your yeah. Rage Powder is going last in terms of, like, it's always, whether you're in Trick Room or not, Extreme Speed is always going to move before Rage Powder does for Toad Scroll, and that's only true for Toad Scroll. And yep. Toad Scroll. Because my Chalian might is stupid. <laughs> It's just not a good ability. Um, Most of the time. It's good I mean, against... Uh, it's great against my team because I think I have and... three Spore immunities that no longer become immune. Yeah. But I still don't think I'm, it's actually good against me because I can just kill it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, That's um, very physically frail. I wish but... my Chelium Might gave you your um, regular attacking moves, the regular priority, but then also ignored abilities as well. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. And Earth Powers onto Levitate Mods. Yeah, uh, Energy Balling, uh, Sap Super, Azumarill. Broken. Um, but yes, uh, Miask Rider has shown it's been like a really good uh, Trick Room setter in the format before they introduced all of the Pokemon that made it a terrible mod. Because um, you can just use Sucker Punch to support Trick Room. Yeah. Knock Somebo off somebody made both good... Sessions. Somebody so. made good use out of uh, Trick Room Miasker out of last season. I think mm. it was Daddy. I think it might uh, uh, Where, yeah, somebody set up a Tailwind or something and then got immediately Trick Room done. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't even, like, it doesn't need to Trick Room or whatever. Um, sorry, it doesn't need to abuse the Trick Room against a, a faster team. It's a mon that can easily set it up for a partner Pokemon that's slower because it does have access yeah. to that priority move. Um, yeah. With the, the Shadow Sneak with Mimikyu is the same thing. And then, like, um... Similarly, Screamtail is a bunch of like good support moves that are obnoxious, or um, Klefki can run Prankster moves to go first. And yeah. Toadstool's going last anyway. So they don't really care about being faster Pokemon in Trick Room. Exactly. I, I mean, I think Mimikyu will find matchups where it's at Trick Room and then is moving first, or like second after your partner Pokemon, and before both of the opponent's Pokemon, even outside of Tailwind, even if you run max speed and hit 96, or whatever 96 goes up to, I think it's like 130 odd. Or am yeah, I something like, like that. weight load bowling? And what's Armor Rouge at? Uh, 136 is way low bowling. It's like 170? 162. Armor Rouge is 75 base, and I think it's. Is it at 130? Or is it um, at 140? No, it's 139 faster. Armor Rouge. Must be base 70 once they hit that. Maybe the loser. Uh, Falooza is 134, so yeah, it's at 130-odd. Um, but there there will definitely be matchups where they're just the fastest, uh, that, where they're like slower than both of your opponent's Pokemon, and thus moving first in Trick Room. I mean, Miyaz Grata, <laughs> last gen, did not have many matchups like that, so last season. Uh, but this season, we added in, uh, was it 16 new Pokemon? No, 18 yep. new Pokemon, and... A bunch of them are faster than Miascarada with boost energy, and a few of them are faster without. Yeah, they, they added a lot of a lot of fast stuff. Boost energy, I think, is a massive change. If you have a Pokemon like Miascarada, it has a good matchup into Iron Valiant, because you run a Focus Ash anyway, <laughs> and you get Trick Room up, and then the Iron Valiant loses to you. Uh, unless it's also Trick Room. That's true, that's true. But then you don't click Trick Room, and then the Iron Valiant sets Trick Room for you, and, the, and the, you all are like very embarrassed, and then you just agree to go your separate ways. Yeah. Um, yeah. Screamtail's really good. Screamtail is amazing. I really I want it. Also it quite good. Me. Um, yeah, I mean, it didn't go around one, so you could have taken it. Yeah, it's not a fourth. O I took Iron Hands first. I mean, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a pretty good one. How did you get Iron Hands in for? Like, yeah. I hate your division. Every player in your division, I think, um, I just, uh, I, don't, I don't like it. I really dislike 
your division. Yeah, we had a we had a first overall Dondozo. Uh, Dondozo. I think that was like one of the least objectionable early picks. Didn't someone take the like it wasn't the next Pokemon like Chiyu? Chiyu, so I took Chiyu, and then it was Torkoal. Yeah, all three of those picks, Dondozo is the worst of those. Oh, sorry, he's the least bad of those. Yeah, I, I wanted either Hands, Tinglu, I think that was it. And I was like, okay, I'll take whichever one drops to me. And then they both did, and I was like, shit, I didn't want to think. <laughs> I think Iron Hands is the best mod in the format, and Tinglu is probably the second best mod in the format, followed by Pao and then Fluttermane. But I'm not set on those. I'm not set on uh, like where Tinglu and Pao fall. Pretty set on where Iron Hands and Fluttermane fall. Yeah, I agree. Iron Hands is uh, pretty busted. It may not be the best Pokemon in the format because Tinglu might be better, but it is definitely the next best Pokemon in the format. Or I don't know, maybe maybe Chien Pao shows itself to be even better. Maybe Wo Chien shows itself to be just as good as Tinglu. But yeah, I don't knows? find it highly unlikely it falls out of the top five. <laughs> I don't think any Pokemon besides the Ruins are better than it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so Trick Room. Um, the, it's faster than it's ever been. Pokemon that are 70 by 5 base speed are some of the most functional Trick Room abusers in the format. Amaruch is, I think, indisputably one of the best Trick Room abusers in the format uh, when paired with Ndidi. Right? Uh, yeah, it's also one of the best uh, Terra abusers because of its ability. Flashfire? Flashfire plus a grass type? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Like, uh, <laughs> it's like, I don't know how often you're worried about, like, about that. It's not a bad combination, but Armour doesn't need Terra. No. Uh, it does appreciate Terra, you know? Like, I've got Terra Dark here, and I think that's honestly... I've seen people run Terra Steel, Terra Grass, and... I think there was another Terra people ran. Oh, yeah, Bug. I saw someone run Terra Bug because they were worried about... Ground types. Well, the Terra Gras is also ground types. There was something that... Oh, Poison. It was a Poison mod. Yeah. I think it was Muck. Um, so they ran yeah, Bug. you got to walk across. over that Muck when you're a Psychic type. But just Terra Gras would make you weak to Poison. Yeah, but you're just killing a Muck. It's slower than you in Trick Room. That's why you just don't set Trick Room. That's this true. is the trick so room. Are you not going to set so so either your your your, decision, your question is your, your Terra bug instead of instead of Terra grass is a bad decision because of muck, but not running trick room because they have a muck that's slower than you is a better decision is a good decision. No, you're running <laughs> trick room. You're just not setting it until the muck is dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the muck was the only relevant matchup there. Um, yeah, I, I think Terra bug can be a reasonable play concession uh, for a, a reasonably scary poison type, which muck can theoretically be. <laughs> Yeah. Um, like I, you know, I think it's probably better than not setting Trick Room. I'd rather just set Trick Room and not be and ignore Muck, than um, be worried about Muck solely because I decided to run uh, Terra Grass. You know. Um, also, White Guard is broken. Like uh, Armor is just really good. I I had an absolutely like. It, it, so I think I brought it twice last season. Uh, I it, it won one of the games by itself, but I just didn't have a DD, and it was so much worse without a DD. Yeah. The, the stats all around are really good. Like, it's pretty bulky. Uh, it's run into a lot of bad fire matchups. He's but got a huge special attack stat. This season, it was still one of the first fire types I wanted to draft. Did you did you take it? No, it went, it went on the wheel. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yeah, Casey got it. Yeah, yeah I, I would have taken it. <laughs> I love what you... I, I considered taking it uh, instead of Goldengo. Uh, but then someone could have gotten Goldengo round two, which no reasonable draft pool would let someone get a round two Goldengo, you know? I can tell you Casey would not have taken Goldengo because he told me what he was going to take, so you could have got Goldengo at round two. No, no, but uh, you, you understand that no reasonable draft pool would let someone get a round two Goldengo, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, um, what was but, Casey? <laughs> did, what did Casey tell you? Uh, he was either going to get Indeedy Armor Rouge or Dondozo Tatsugiri. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think if you really want Dondozo Tatsugiri, taking Dondozo first pick is correct, because the wheel is incentivized to take it otherwise. Yeah, um, that's true. I, t I really and considered... And I don't think uh, that's true for Torkoal, or... Uh, what was the other one? Oh, Chiyu. I don't think Chiyu's very... I don't know. Maybe Chiyu's good. I've seen it, like, do... I've seen it perform. I just don't know if it's performed at a better-than-Ironhead's degree, because it hasn't. 
Yeah. Well, if you want it on a team, the extremely hard trick room team, I guess, is with uh, Instruct and Lilligant. I mean, that's as hard of a Torkoal team as you're going to get. That is true. They, 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 they took advice in this video we hadn't made yet. Yep. Um, I mean, it's cracked. It's a team that makes sense. I just don't think that Torkoal round one makes sense. No, I agree. I think they could have gotten Iron Hands and still had every other mod on their team the same. Probably. Um, yeah. Because you don't take Lilligan without Sun. Yeah. Typically. I, I mean, I expect that Torkoal would have made it back to them. And had Torkoal made it back to them, nothing else would have changed. Because none of the mods they took, they took it at a particularly inopportune time. Um, <sighs> Klefki we didn't talk about much. Um... I put all of the funny moves on here. So Metal Sound, uh, with a wide lens, of course, because it doesn't get fake tears, is good for supporting Trick Room attackers in getting more damage. Fairy Lock is good because it can stop them switching to play around Trick Room. I actually think this is a really underrated option that I did discuss briefly in my Bone video, but I didn't connect it directly with Trick Room. One of the best ways to counter Trick Room is to switch off uh, ag aggressively around it so that they don't do as much damage. Yep. Which is how like I tend to fairly consistently counter play Trick Room teams that don't rely on good stab. Like, Trick Room teams that mostly rely on, like, uh, coverage moves uh, or, like, tearing into another type to do damage are not going to be as good as, like, an Expanding Force spam team because they're going to have, like, one or two Pokemon that check that Expanding Force spam. And then if you remove those, you win. Whereas if you are, like, okay, well, I have a Pokemon, you know, even Iron Hands. If you're clicking... Uh, you know, Thunder Punch into their Ghost type, and then they're switching into a mod that's neutral, uh, or Wild Charge, and they're switching onto a mod that's neutral and only taking 40. And then you're like, okay, well, am I CCing that slot, or are they protecting, or you know, that that can really help, uh, that can really delay them. And I think Torkoal never has that problem. Yeah, you know, Armrouge never has that problem, and that's why they're very yeah. good Trick Room abusers. Yeah, you can't switch if they're covering the entire field in Fire or Psychic. Exactly. You can't Unless switch you got the walls are screaming at you. I mean, you can or switch the flash fire Pokemon in. They're happy to kill your partner on. That's why spread moves are so good in Trick Room, and that's sure. why Wide Guard is good. <laughs> why Wide Guard is good because it counters spread moves. Yeah, and Armorouge has both. For sure, I, I think that um, Trick Room is actually very similar to, um, well, obviously to Tailwind, but to um, Beads of Ruin and Sword of Ruin in that it incentivizes a lot of the same sort of offensive play, and it incentivizes a lot of the same defensive counterplay. That's a good point. Um, I didn't I didn't really realize that until I was really, uh, realizing everything I was saying about the Swords of Ruin and Beads of Ruin in the video with Ray was the same stuff I'm talking about Trick Room right now. <laughs> Obviously, I think people realize that Trick Room and Tailwind are very similar. Um, it's just that Swords of Ruin and Beads of Ruin are... Uh, more in your control and less in your control than Trick Room and Tailwind are, because if they die, they die. All right. uh, any final words? Uh, I look forward to watching your games. Are you recording your games this season? Uh, unless something happens, probably. Yeah. Are awesome. you going to be recording I look yours? Forward. I will be. That's so awesome. check me out at Steve Monty Scott for yep. some uh, fun games. Fun case. I yeah, like sure to run exactly a lot, a lot of nonsense. Yeah, tell that sometimes to the, your works. game against Daddy. It, and sometimes I just run the most standard thing you could imagine. <laughs> Steve is the most inconsistent player because he will, he'll have a, a, a move list that contains all the regular moves used like two games of the season, and then all of the fun moves used like five games a season. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Thanks a lot to Steve for coming on. Leave any comments below about any uh, other topics you think I should cover or any expectations you might have that uh, things I may have misunderstood about Trick Room or things you wish I'd touched on. And we are out.